Dear learners, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are well. I am also fine. Uh, during this corona pandemic, uh, our classes are going on, though, in, uh, though online. So I am going to take another class. Uh, our today's topic is our today's topic is right form of bar. You know, this topic is set as question number three in revised syllabus, uh, and this topic includes in your second paper. So let's start our discussion, our class. Dear learners, you know, in this topic we have to learn how to correct a verb given in the bracket. Now, at first, I will teach you some rules, grammatical rules, best grammatical, uh, some rules on right form verbs, especially we will begin the rules based on tense. You know, in present intimate tense, present intimate tense, present intimate tense. In this tense, the form of the verb will be base form or present form, you know. And uh, Another rule is that uh, when you will get, you will recognize the sentence as present indefinite tense, you have to remember that you may give the correct form of the verb and uh, sometimes the verb takes S or ES. When we will add S or ES with verbs in present intimate tense. This is the important question. When the subject, remember, subject, subject, third person, sorry, third person, singular, third person, singular number. When the subject will be third person singular number, we have to add S or ES with the verb in present individual tense. For example, she know me well. She know me well. If we want to correct this verb, then she she, you know, she third person, and she is num uh, is she is in a singular number. It is a singular number pronoun. You know, she. Then the correct form of verb will be s. Here will be I have add s to this verb with this verb. So it is an important rule in present evidence. Another rule is. Present indefinite tense in negative. You know, when we will uh, find that we have to do negative form in present indefinite tense, then we have to use. Do not or does not. We have to use do not or does not after subject. So, in present in tense, in negative form, we have to use do not or does not after the subject before the verb. 
before the main verb, given verb. Suppose, give a, let's give an example. She not know me well. If we want to correct this verb in the bracket, you know, you, uh, you are seeing that, you see that not here, not has been used, given, not has been given in the bracket. It indicates that you have to make this sentence in negative. You have to make this sentence negative. So, what will be negative form? She does not know me well. He does not know me well. I think you have understood this uh, two rules. Another number three. Usually, generally, commonly, commonly, often, always. Always, occasionally, occasionally, usually, generally, commonly, often, or usually, uh, always, occasionally, regularly, regularly, daily, every day. Every day, it is. When we will find any of this adverb in a sentence, you know you should know that this sentence must be present in different tense. So, when we will find any of uh, any one of this all of these uh, adverbs, then that sentence uh, we have to make that sentence into present in event tense. So, we have to then give a, let's give an example. They usually play in the afternoon. Here, you can see, uh, usually has been used in this sentence. So, this verb must be in present form. That means, what uh, present form and look at the subject. When we will find that, the verb will be in present indefinite, then we must see subject. If the subject is third person, and similar number, then we have to add S or ES with the bar. Otherwise, we have to uh, we have to use only base form of the bar. Here, the subject is third person, but not in singular number. It is in plural. They is plural. So, plural as it is plural, no S or ES will be added to this bar. Here, answer will be they usually play in the afternoon. So that uh, let's see see here the same same verb uh, this play verb has been used as has been given in the bracket. Next, number four, another rule, when we will see now at present, at this moment, day by day. 
this adverb or phrase. We, if we find any of these adverb or phrase in a sentence, we have to make this sentence present continuous. Then we have to make that sentence into present continuous form. Let's give an example. The boy play football now. Now has been used in this sentence. So we have to make it present continuous. That is, the answer will be the boy is playing football now. Dear learners, you are now uh, you can now see uh, here we have make the sentence present continuous giving using be verb and adding ing with the verb. So it is another rule. Dear learners, next, next rule. Just, just now, lately, recently, just, just now, lately, recently, in the meantime, already till now till now and another is ever if we find any of this adverb or, or phrase in a sentence we have to make this that sentence present perfect tense we have to then we have to then uh, use present perfect tense that is present perfect perfect tense present perfect tense if anyone any one of this uh, adverb or phrase is found in a sentence we have to use that sentence as present perfect tense Let's give an example. The man go to Dhaka recently here recently has been used so so this sentence must be in present perfect tense present perfect form the man has gone to dhaka recently the man has gone to dhaka recently has gone has been used present perfect in present perfect tense have and has have or has past participle form of verb so it is a present perfect tense number six when we find for or since plus time when we find this structure for or since then time then the sentence will be present perfect 
continuous tense for our scenes present perfect continuous tense. Let's give an example. Here, the girl sleep for an hour. Here, for this C, for has been used, and then it is time. So it must be in present perfect continuous. The girl has been sleeping for an hour. The girl has been sleeping. In present perfect, uh, we, uh, you know, in present perfect continuous tense, has been or have been. Are, uh, has been or have been is used as auxiliary verb and uh, ing is used after main verb. That's why we can see has been sleeping. Has been sleeping. Sub if subject is singular, third person singular number, then uh, singular number, then has been is has been has been is used, and if the subject is first person or second person. Or third person plural have been is used after that subject. Next, number seven. Another important rule you know that is past indefinite tense. In this tense, when we find this adverb. Yesterday, last night, year, week, this is last night, last year, last week, in the past, or any time in past. 1971 it is any past time in time in past any time if the sentence indicates past incident then the sentence must be in past indefinite tense past indefinite tense you know Past inheritance, in past inheritance, uh, uh, we have to use uh, past form of the verb, be to. Past indefinite. Tense. Example. Bangladesh become in the then in 1971. Here, see, 1971, it is a past incident. 1971, the year 1971, that is, it is long, long past. The year in past, in the past, that is, Bangladesh became in, became independent in 1971. I think uh, you understand. You are 
trying to understand it and today uh, i will teach till that rule seven rule number seven and if i get another chance if i can i will take another class so till now till then uh, thank you very much stay at home and stay safe for the office